Taylor Swift. Fans say enough. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. What's this? Trouble in paradise? The immensely popular Taylor Swift? Is she facing some kind of insurgency? A rebellion amongst her notoriously loyal fans? What is this that they say that they have had enough? Is the Swift empire about to enter decline? Well, according to Dolly Busby, who writes in the Mail, a Swift detox, fans tired of obsession with Taylor Swift, join online forums to critique beloved US singer, saying they're unhappy with her jet use and her silence on the Gaza conflict. Now, before I analyse this further, I must say it always entertains me to see the extent to which fans believe that they have some form of entitlement to understand the politics of their pop stars. Naturally, there are certain pop stars that use their fame as a platform to issue pronouncements on it, and you may say, I'd rather they didn't do so. But what's the reason that you engage with a pop star or a rock star or a musician? Are you doing so because you're interested in their politics? No. Is it because you're interested in which football team they support? No. Is it because you want to learn all about how they're an excellent cook or baker? No. You engage with them because you enjoy their music. That's what draws you to them. For instance, I couldn't give a rat's ass what the politics of Depeche Mode are, whether if Dave Garn turned into a raving right-wing nut or... Martin Gore was as woke as you liked. I don't give a rat's ass. They can get on with it. As it is, I think they're slightly left-leaning from what I've seen of their observations about politics in the past. But ultimately, it doesn't matter a fig to me. It's their music that I'm interested in. But it does seem to be an increasing trend whereby fans of famous people, be they actors or musicians or content creators also feel that it's appropriate to understand what that person's political views are rather than respecting that they may well keep them private. Furthermore, getting your panties in a bunch about somebody's jet use, well, if that individual of course is trying to hold themselves out as having environmental credentials whilst jetting around in a private jet, you might decide, well, I don't really want to support a hypocrite, and you're perfectly entitled to do so. But on the other hand, that person's made a lot of money and they need to get from A to B and often quickly. Therefore, if they're able to afford it, let them get on with it. Anyway, such is the judgmental nature of fans these days, it appears that it's also passed into a situation whereby they're critiquing Taylor Swift with regard to her jet use and her silence on the Gaza conflict to decide, actually, I don't want to be a fan anymore. Not, gosh, your latest album was shit, or I went to see her on tour, and actually, she wasn't all that, or, hmm, the album's a bit lacklustre, I don't really like her music any longer. <laughs> no, nothing to do with the main purpose of which you engage with her, but rather that they're looking at other factors. Dolly Busby writes, she's as famous for her devoted fan base as she is her heartbreak anthems, but it seems the love story could be over for Taylor Swift and her Swifties, with some vowing to detox from the US singer. Thousands are joining online chat forums to critique the 34-year-old, saying they're turning her off over issues including her jet use and her silence on the Gaza conflict. Under a 30-day detox, former fans have said they will block the singer on Spotify. Ooh, you're brave. Delete her fan pages. Ooh, so radical. And donate her merchandise to charity. They are also banning themselves from listening to her music or are trying alternative bands. Well, no harm in trying alternative bands. Widen your musical tastes, I say. One listener wrote... Thinking about Taylor does take up a lot of my time. Does anyone else ever feel like they just need a break, or am I crazy? Well, I would say that's more to do with you, one listener, as opposed to the behaviours of Taylor Swift. Another replied, You're not. I'm going on a 30-day detox from Taylor Swift. I deleted my Swifty Twitter, but I still use Instagram occasionally. I don't obsessively save new photos of her like I used to, but I still like seeing them. I didn't celebrate her birthday this year. Another fan posted online 
The first couple of weeks of being a Swifty, I was obsessed. If I wasn't listening to her, I was watching her interviews. She was, literally, all I could think of. I still get a huge desire to listen to her, but now I've been mixing it up with Ed Sheeran. You're fucking bonkers. For other things, I've been getting back into gaming and other things I like. The Swiftly Neutral group on Reddit, which has more than 50,000 members, saw its following grow by 7,000 in one month after Ms. Swift released her latest album, The Tortured Poets Department. One member told Vulture magazine, I just feel a little disillusioned with her now. She has done many wonderful things for charity, and I don't want to take away from that. However, her jet use, her blatant cash grabs, and her horrible merch quality have become a little more glaring. Miss Swift, who is known for her hits, including Love Story and Shake It Off, reportedly has a carbon footprint 1,928 times the global average due to her private jet use. Well, how else do you expect her to get to her concerts, for goodness sake? Anyway, this is the situation that there's a swiftly neutral group. It's got 50,000 members and that people are wanting to take a break from her. How would this impact upon a greater narcissist such as Taylor Swift? She would laugh her tits off, look at her bank balance, roll her eyes, and find the whole thing hilarious. She wouldn't feel threatened in the sense. A lower echelon narcissist, faced with such circumstances, would probably react in a more knee-jerk fashion. Certainly behind closed doors, it would get to them to be talked about in this way. It would certainly trouble them that they would be losing fans, that, they were, that their views were being criticised. But in relation to Taylor Swift, whilst these actions are a threat to her control, it's not something that's going to cause her to lose any sleep. It's not, causing, it's not going to cause her to erupt with heated ignited fury. But given the fact that she's a greater, she will just find it amusing and look at the fact that she's got millions upon millions of fans and 50,000 claiming to do a detox. And believe me, there'll be those that just join this because they think it feels cool and won't actually go through it. They'll still continue to watch her videos, listen to her music. They'll just claim that they're detoxing from her because it's the latest trend and meh, they follow the other sheep. The fact is, it's not going to make a dent in the edifice that is Taylor Swift. She'll continue to earn lots of money. Her era's tour will continue like the juggernaut that it is. Her album sales will continue. Her fame and popularity will continue to increase. She has more than enough existing followers that will continue to support her. And even with these individuals, it's not like they're giving up on her entirely. It's just a short period of time that they feel that they need to detox. And the media attempts to make something of it. Taylor Swift probably wouldn't even notice that this has happened. She's focused on much bigger things. She's focused on her tour. She's focused on the success that comes with all of that. And therefore, the fact that some fans are engaging in a detox probably doesn't even come across her bows. But if it were to do so, she would just find the whole thing entertaining. Once again, the little people beating their fists against the edifice that is Taylor Swift and not making a mark upon her. That is how the greater narcissist would deal with such instances. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.